is Cam, Oregon Knife Guy, and today I'm going to talk about some traditional knives. Um, one of my favorite patterns is the Gunstock Jack. Um, you all probably know what a Gunstock is. Uh, Jack Wolf's first pattern was the Sharpshooter Jack, which was a modern um, Gunstock Jack. Well, I like the Gunstock Jack because it's a great size, you know, three and a half inches. It's similar in length to a Barlow. Um, but I just like the, you know, overall look and handle shape. So I have a few and I was going to show them off. Um, so the first gun stock I picked up was this, it's the GC 44. You can see it's got a clip and pin blade. It's brass bolsters and caps and the bullet shield. Um, can you hear that walk and talk? Sweet knife. That's the first one. So I think the second one I picked up um, is more on the budget side. This is made by Rough Rider, and the length is different. It's a bit longer. You know, honestly, I didn't know there were so many lengths of gun stocks until the most recent one, but I'm going to save it for last. So. This is the Rough Rider gun stock. The green bone is nice, spear point blade. It is the spear and then the pin. And it's kind of got a mushy half stop. I don't know, I totally did that off camera too, forgive me for that. See that, you can't even hear it going into the half stop. But, so I'm gonna put it on top because it's the longest. We'll see if I can make them stay anyway. So next, and I got this one off of Etsy. Um, Try to remember the guy's handle. Um, I don't know, something edge. He's has a lot of great slip joint knives. So this is made by Shatton Morgan. Well, it's a Shatton Morgan knife made by Queen Cutlery. It's a uh, silver, it's tarnished, but it's a silver Keystone Shield. And then this is a National Knife Collectors Association. So it has two shields. I wish it didn't have the two shields. It kind of clutters up the bone. This side looks way better in my opinion. And this is worm groove jig bone is what they call it. So this one has a gorgeous spear point blade. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It's not gonna focus. Nope. It's just not going to focus on that tank stamp. It's all right. So this one though, spear and clip. It's a great little knife. Love this knife. And the most recent one I got is also the most rare. Um, Tobias at Knife Chats with Tobias just did or did a video not that long ago on gun stocks and he was talking about the case gun stock he picked up because they use I think it's this size and they um, make a bartender's knife out of it and that's why I think Rough Rider actually copied the case gun stock so he was talking about it and he was saying that the case made several you know links in the pattern and they had the same pattern name, but one of them was this length, which is three and seven eighths. And the other one was this length, which is two and um, seven eighths. So under three inches. And you can see this is, it's like a burnt orange. I don't know if that's a peach seed jig. I don't know, it's a nice jigging. And it's a shadow pattern, it means it doesn't have bolsters. And on this little beauty, it has an awesome blade. Long pull, cut swedge, nice snap. This one has a little bitty pin as its secondary. Just a great little knife. 
So, a question to you guys. What size of gun stock would you carry? You know, some people like the larger knives. Some people like the smaller knives. Me, personally, when I'm carrying a traditional knife, I carry, well, I usually have a couple of traditional knives on me, but the one I use the most is one about this size. Nice small one. If I need anything bigger, you know, I always have a modern knife on me, so I just use that. But yeah, so what size of gun stock would be your favorite? And then one more thing before I go. Just a little comparison. When I was on vacation this last week, I just got back. Um, I picked up a mini bug out. And when I got back, I was surprised to see that they... It compares very well with a, with a traditional knife. So, GC Gunstock, Benchmade, Mini Bug Out. And if you hold these up side by side, they are almost the same length. I mean, the Bug Out has it beat by, well, I don't, it actually doesn't have it beat. The exact same blade length and then the bug out has a quarter inch longer handle so that's all i got for you guys today um keep your knife sharp and your mind sharper <laughs> this is cam i'm out that was a pretty corny exit you guys have a great week